Alrighty, <clears throat> messed around with Blender today and uh, thought I would mess around with Lux Render and uh, I did some some renders and here uh, first I started off I did a, an oblate ellipsoid which I thought was what the shape of a lens is because it kind of looked like a lens and the way I got that was uh, I went into Blender user preferences, add-ons, add mesh, and then add extra objects. And uh, now when you add an object, you go to add mesh, extra objects, math, XYZ. And then basically this is automatically checked when you get there. Definitely uncheck that. Um, see so here's here's what it it added, but I put the uh, formula in for an ellipsoid. Okay. Anyway, um, I, I thought I had that in there, but anyway, it's like cosine a times cosine u times cosine v and then y is b times cosine u times cos uh, sine v and then uh, z is c times sine u uh, anyway and then you get um, an, an oblate ellipsoid but anyway uh, did some more research and lenses are not a blot res uh, ellipsoids they're basically um, <clears throat> globes and then you the ends of the ball or the ends of the globe or the uh, hemisphere and then made it with the bottom side and I'm talking about the the uh, convex the biconvex lens not not anything else not the convex or the biconvex or the the others just the regular magnifying glass type lens so this one on the left is um, just a regular smooth blot lipsoid this one is subsurfed and this one the uh, <clears throat> index of refraction is different I think this one is uh, like 1.7 and these are like 2.17 these are like uh, cubic zirconia and this is sapphire but I got the colors mixed up but um, that's what that was so next I went I, I did the half globe onto the half globe and this is with the sun size set to one and uh, it's got a little bit of blue in there and uh, the dispersion is checked and that turned out to be a pretty nice lens you got a nice this is probably a 45 minute render you got a nice uh, focal point here and then uh, this is refracting off of the inside faces somehow somebody who probably knows this better than me knows exactly what that's called but um, then I changed the sun size to 10 again here's the sun size at 1 here's the sun size at 10 you see there's a little more dispersion artifacts in here um, and, but that's about all you notice and then the reflection is a little bit bigger it's basically you're setting the size of the sun to be bigger um, and then I switch to an area light and you can see that it's a little bit colder a little bit bluer uh, and a little more focused uh, as opposed to the sun. The sun is more widespread and gives you a little bit harder shadows and then the area light is softer shadows um, and less light out on the fringes and then of course the reflection is uh, squarish you've st still got dispersion with the dispersion checked um, and then here I went back and I added the blot ellipsoid with the actual lens type shape and um, 
just to see how it would look and how the dispersion would be and you can see a little bit of dispersion artifacts in there and then I turn the dispersion off and here's with it on here's with it off here's with it on here's with it off and basically it's just a cleaner light um, probably would mean more in a flat faced object like a diamond or something like that you would want probably more dispersion lens probably you wouldn't want it if you check the architectural it just ends up being like a window um, it's just not got a lot of refraction and uh, use that more for glass architectural windows uh, but uh, so either with dispersion or, or with this without dispersion um, it acts pretty pretty good as a lens and then here I used a spotlight and this rendered really clean really quick it was like 15 minutes and I've got a uh, a four quad machine and this is on iMac with the AMD I think it's 6770M graphic card um, so spotlight you can see is definitely got like a spotlight a lot cleaner um, still dispersion is off and uh, anyway that's what I've been playing with today these lenses were pretty flat and then when I went to the half uh, globes the actual lens shape that a lens should be for a biconvex um, I pumped it up a little bit So that's Lux Render 1.1. A lot of fun. That's what I did all all day Saturday. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.